Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez and his Dominican counterpart Roosevelt Skerritt welcomed the results released by the electoral body in Caracas. Both Gonzalez and Skerritt are staunch supporters of Maduro. Well, I've already called the Venezuelan government to congratulate them on the victory of Nicolas Maduro. In fact, I was, you, you, you saw me on the phone just before as I came out of the vehicle. That was my congratulation, congratulatory call. St. Vincent Grenadines is going to issue its, its own statement. There's an ALBA statement which is being issued. Um, the history of elections in Venezuela would indicate, and the last time when a number of countries for political reasons claimed that the elections were not free and fair and didn't reflect the will of the people. The Carter Center, for instance, reported that the Venezuelan election machinery is one of the most sophisticated and um, transparent in the, in the entire world. Well, as far as I've seen, um, the, the entity which uh, oversees and governs the elections in Venezuela uh, has indicated that President Maduro and his party have been re-elected for uh, another six-year term. Uh, in the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, and therefore we extend our congratulations, as we do in all elections anywhere in the world, our congratulations to um, President Maduro on his re-election. We look forward to working with him for the next six years on a bilateral and multilateral basis. Venezuela continues to be a very important uh, player in, in, in the hemisphere uh, from a number of vantage points. Um, and we congratulate the Venezuelan people for conducting themselves in a largely peaceful um, and event-free election process. Guyana and Venezuela have a long-running border dispute, with both countries now awaiting a ruling from the International Court of Justice. Guyana's president, Dr. Irfan Ali, was much more diplomatic in his comments about the outcome of Sunday's elections. An election has a number of components. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the uh, operations and arrangement before the elections, elections itself on election day and of course the, the mechanisms after the election the mechanisms to ensure uh, that the votes are counted mechanisms to ensure that there is a credible process of verification and a credible process of uh, that allows person to to request what the law uh, entertains uh, recount and so on so those are all components of the election we are not uh, pronouncing, uh, we cannot pronounce one way or the other, as I said. We don't have uh, details before us, but I'm, uh, uh, those are the components that we support in any democratic elections. Trinidad and Tobago last week welcomed Venezuela's decision to sign a 20-year natural gas production and exploration deal with its national gas company and BPTT. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley welcomed the holding of the elections in Venezuela. The fact that there was an election is a good thing, and now we're waiting on the results. Um, the official results are out, and I don't have any basis at this stage to not be but optimistic. St. Lucia's Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre said Castries is not being rushed into making a pronouncement on the election results. I've always made that point. It's the people of Venezuela who suffer. The people. And, we, and if there was a call for elections and elections took place, when all the audits and all the, ob the observers have reported, I think the results should be accepted and Venezuela allowed to operate as it should operate to benefit the results of the Venezuelan elections are likely to be a topic of discussion for the regional leaders who are gathered here for the 47th regular meeting that ends on Tuesday. Peter Richards reporting for News 5.